How can we evolve when regulation is the only thing we've ever known? Big Brother! You have to stop! Let us delve into the heart-wrenching saga of Itachi Uchiha, arguably the most complex character the internet has ever seen. Prepare yourselves to delve into the melancholic life of Itachi Uchiha of the Leaf. Itachi Uchiha, tragically born into a clan stained by its own formidable powers. The curse of the Uchiha, a melancholic infliction, amplifies their emotions beyond normal bounds, a double-edged sword where love has the potential to warp into pure, unadulterated hatred through the tragic loss of a loved one. The haunting curse of hatred has its roots buried deep in history, passed down from the time of the Sage of Six Paths whose ill-fated son Indra Otsutsuki bore the curse. This curse of hatred first consumed Hagoromo's family when he, on his deathbed, chose Asura Otsutsuki as his successor. Indra, consumed with resentment and believing he was the rightful successor, was driven towards eternal hatred for his brother. This ancient feud persisted even after their deaths, echoing through the descendants of the Uchiha and the Senju clans. The Uchiha's Sharingan and its formidable derivatives are cruel gifts of the curse of hatred. The intense experience of negative emotions stirs a unique chakra in the brain, affecting the optic nerves and awakens the ocular jutsu. Even the heightened forms of this dojutsu, the Mangekyo and the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, are awakened in the face of devastating loss, amplifying the Sharingan's power. The curse of hatred, a ghost from the past, continued to haunt the Uchiha even after they embraced Hashirama's will of fire, as was evident in the aftermath of the Uchiha clan's failed coup d'etat. It was at this turning point, at the tender age of 13, that Itachi was forced to choose between protecting his clan or his village. Itachi joined hands with Obito to massacre their entire clan. After that, Itachi is invited to join the Akatsuki by Obito. Itachi decides to join Akatsuki as a spy of Leaf Village. After joining the Akatsuki, Itachi is paired with Kisame, the monster of hidden mist. Kisame was called a tailless beast since he could suck others' chakra with his sword named Samehada. Kisame was known to kill his comrades, but Itachi puts up a pretty good fight against him. Itachi, Kisame and Sasori then go to Deidara's place to make him join the Akatsuki. In that battle, Itachi's best ability we saw was his Genjutsu, not much. After that, we see Itachi and Kisame ordered to go to the Leaf Village to capture the Nine Tails. Itachi puts a good fight against Kakashi and Kuranai and they leave upon arrival of Might Guy. Next time, they go to capture Nine Tails when Naruto was with Jiraiya. Kisame stated that they combined might not even be able to defeat Jiraiya, and they run away. Many people believe it was just a bluff because Itachi didn't want to kill Leaf's elite shinobi. I too think that Itachi made Kisame believe that Jiraiya was too strong. So in Oji Naruto, Itachi's greatest accomplishment was to massacre Uchiha clan along with Obito, defeat Deidara with Genjutsu, run away from Jiraiya and from Might Guy. Now listen to my analysis. This is all my analysis, so Itachi had to choose between his clan or the village before dying. His beloved friend Shisui told him to protect the village and the Uchiha name. If Uchihas were successful in coup d'etat, he would not be able to protect the village. And if the Leaf Village successfully defended the coup d'etat, Uchiha name would be full of disgrace. To solve the problem, Itachi came up with a plan to kill everyone in his clan except for his brother. Itachi asked help from Madara Uchiha for this, and in turn Itachi had to join the Akatsuki. Keep in mind Obito, who was disguised as Madara, was able to fool Itachi. Itachi never knew the true identity of the person behind the mask. He always considered him to be Madara. If you don't believe me, watch this. I have one last thing to ask. If you discover how to activate it, you will be the third person to obtain the Mangekyo Sharingan. The other one with that Sharingan. Who in the Uchiha clan obtained it? Because even you couldn't have taken down the Leaf Police Force alone. Madara Uchiha. 
And about the massacre, no other Uchiha's had Mangekyo Sharingan except for Itachi and the masked man. Itachi's father is shown to have Mangekyo, but in Shippuden, Itachi says there were only two Uchiha's with Mangekyo Sharingan. And if Itachi saw his father's Mangekyo, he would specify it. Even if you consider Fugaku having Mangekyo Sharingan, he simply refused to fight and died along with his wife just with one promise to protect his little brother, Sasuke. So, there were Uchihas with normal Sharingans, and many of the Uchihas didn't even have any Sharingan. So two guys with Mangekyo Sharingan can easily slaughter them, it's not much of a big deal. Since Obito couldn't be damaged by the Uchihas, and Itachi had the best physical power among all Uchihas, except for Fugaku, all other Uchihas were just trash, not much powerful. And the thing about defeating Deidara, it's not a big deal. Sasuke with base sharing and did it too. In Naruto Shippuden episode 13 to 15, we saw Itachi fighting against Kakashi, Naruto, Sakura, and Granny Chio. Naruto's giant Rasengan took down Itachi, but later we got to know it was just fake Itachi controlled by the real one. In episode 121 and 122 of Naruto Shippuden, we see Itachi and Kisami again, but this time, Kisami is fighting against four tails, Jinchuriki, whereas Itachi is just sitting alone. In episode 134 to 141, we see the battle between Sasuke and Itachi. Majority of Itachi's abilities is revealed in this battle. At first, they do a bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat and genjutsu battle. Itachi also traps Sasuke in his Tsukiyomi, but Sasuke gets out of it. It was at that point he said that Madara is still alive and Itachi considered Madara superior to him and referred him as his comrade and his mentor. If you don't believe me, watch Naruto Shippuden episode 136 in the 7th minute and 20th second, when Sasuke asks Itachi who exactly is Madara. That was Itachi's reply. After their conversation, they start shuriken and hand-to-hand -hand battle. Another jutsu Itachi used was fireball jutsu and then Amaterasu to counter Sasuke's fireball jutsu. Itachi spammed Amaterasu and was able to hit Sasuke, but Sasuke escaped using one of Orochimaru's jutsu. And then Sasuke reveals his trump card, the Kirin. Sasuke had tamed the lightning itself. The dragon-shaped lightning bolt hits Itachi, and Itachi fell to the ground. Sasuke thinks the battle was over, but then Itachi reveals his trump card, the Susano. With the help of Susano, Itachi survived Kirin. Sasuke had used all his chakra in that jutsu, and there was Itachi, using humongous red armor. That was the time Orochimaru gets out of Sasuke's body with eight-headed serpent jutsu. Itachi cuts all eight heads of those snakes, but they regenerate. And there emerges Orochimaru. Just when Orochimaru gets out of the snake's mouth, he is stabbed by Itachi's Susano blade. Orochimaru does not care even if he was pierced but suddenly realizes that the sword Itachi used was the Totsuka blade, the sword which traps anyone stabbed by it in an endless dreams, and Orochimaru is sealed. Itachi moves towards Sasuke with his Susano, but the time he reached Sasuke, he pokes him and falls. Itachi was dead. Sasuke was shocked how he died, and Sasuke too falls down. Later in the Fourth Great Shinobi War, we see Itachi and Nagato reanimated. They were brought back from the world of dead. And we are told that the Edo Tensei bodies cannot be killed and they have infinite amount of chakra. In his Edo Tensei form, Itachi possesses enhanced strength, speed and endurance due to being reanimated with the Edo Tensei Jutsu. He also retains his exceptional intelligence and formidable skills in Ninjutsu and Genjutsu. When he was alive, he couldn't reach his full potential due to his disease and low chakra reserve. But when reanimated, all those implications were removed. Itachi could spam all his jutsu and be hit by any attack. He simply wouldn't die. In Edo Tensei form, Itachi's power lever exceeded his alive form by all means. Firstly, he used Chisui's eye to use Koto Matsukami on himself, which he had set for Sasuke to make him protect Leaf Village. Instead, Itachi used that trigger on himself, so he got out of Kabuto's control in order to protect the leaf. Nagato had absorbed Killer B's chakra and got overpowered. Itachi sided with B and Naruto to take down Nagato. Nagato used planetary devastation and Itachi immediately came up with a plan to destroy the center of that jutsu. He stated every jutsu has a weakness, and that is one of my favorite lines from Itachi. Itachi told B and Naruto to use their strongest attack. 
Naruto used Rasen Shuriken, B used Tailed Beast Bomb, and do you know what Itachi used? Inferno style, Yasaka no Magatama. So Amaterasu is not his strongest attack after all. And after destroying the center of planetary devastation, Itachi pierces Nagato with Totsuka Blade, which seals him for eternity. The final battle we see Itachi is against Kabuto. Kabuto, who was the mastermind behind all Edo Tensei and army of White Zetsu, had become the closest person to the Sage of Six Paths. Itachi and Sasuke were facing against the Dragon Sage, Kabuto. The plot twist during this battle was that Itachi shouldn't kill Kabuto. If Kabuto died, the Edo Tensei will not stop. Kabuto needed to weave a hand sign in order to stop the reanimation. At that time, Itachi uncovers another forbidden technique of the Uchiha clan, the Izanami. It is a genjutsu which affects the target through physical sensations. Like its counterpart, in exchange for the temporary ability that it grants the user, the Sharingan with which Izanami is cast is rendered blind and loses its light forever. According to Itachi, Izanami and Izanagi form a pair, but unlike the latter, which is a technique capable of altering destiny, Izanami is instead one that decides it. Itachi traps Kabuto in Izanami and weaves hand signs cancelling the Edo Tensei. Even Madara acknowledges the one who was able to undo the reanimation, which is Itachi. The dying words of Itachi surely made every Naruto fan thrilled. So the Edo Tensei version of Itachi had infinite chakra, enhanced strength, speed and endurance like any other reanimated shinobi. He cannot die since he is already dead. What abilities will he be able to use if he somehow got brought back? In Edo Tensei form, Itachi can spam Amaterasu, use Shisui's Mangekyo since it has already been over 10 years since its last activation, use Totsuka Blade and Yata Mira. But what he cannot do is much of a concern. He cannot use perfect Susanoo since he couldn't use it even in Edo Tensei version. He can use Izanami again, but only once, since one of his eyes have completely lost its light. But Izanami is not that OP ability. For Izanami to be useful, there needs many conditions to be fulfilled. If the opponent is able to accept the reality and still choose to fight, Izanami is just a waste. Yata Mira sure can block all attacks, but only in one direction. Yata Mira cannot guard you 360 degrees, and about Totsuka Blade it has to pierce an opponent. And piercing a strong character is pretty hard. Orochimaru was stabbed because he could not die from piercing, and he just neglected the blow, but later realized that it was Totsuka Blade, and it sends anyone stabbed into the world of dreams. Same with Nagato. Nagato was not in his own control, and Kabuto thought piercing will not permanently damage Nagato. The ultimate genjutsu, Koto Amatsukami, can only be used once, and it alters reality only once in ten years. Until ten years, that Mangekyo Sharingan is just a waste. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I never understood why people always go on about how strong Itachi is, even saying he could stomp Madara, like literally. Madara Uchiha. Let's see their alive forms, Madara Uchiha, the one who rivaled Hashirama. Hashirama was strong enough to defeat and control all tailed beasts, and Madara was the one who uncovered the mysteries of entire Uchiha clan. Madara awakened the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. On the top of Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, Madara also awakened the Rinnegan. The only person who awakened the Rinnegan after the Sage of Six Paths. The Rinnegan Sasuke uses is is of Hagoromo. Sasuke didn't awaken it, but Madara did. And do you know what the powers of Madara's Rinnegan was? Every Rinnegan power you have ever seen in Naruto Shippuden except for Sasuke's portal and Amenote Jikara, Madara can use all other Rinnegan abilities, from Limbo to controlling all the powers of Six Paths of Pain. Madara is way stronger than Itachi, and that is the truth. And now about their peak forms, Itachi's Edo Tensei and Madara's Ten Tails, Jinchuriki. Is there even a chance? Madara was the strongest in the entire planet until Kaguya arrived and you think Itachi with that little Susano can defeat Madara? Look, I know that Itachi is very strong, but Madara is on a whole different level. So for those who still think Itachi is invincible and Itachi's Jutsu is invincible, just hear this. Every Jutsu has a weakness. Until then, this is Verse Tube signing off.